something as Pacific Islanders, we're to always told, you know, what happens at home stays at home. You don't take a drama out, you don't go talk about it. No one would want to communicate or express their feelings, especially if you're being mocked about it. Like, your feelings are your own feelings, you can't help if you feel that way. But people just don't get it, and it's such a joke to them, especially the Pacific Islanders. It's because they don't believe in mental health. They believe in getting hidings. Being Pacific and being trans, okay, there's, there's so much more weight to that. And I think it's because Pacific, as Pacific Islanders, we're so like ridden on like religion and, and, and religion. And then at home, religion and church and culture, and it's like you have to be this, you have to do that. Uh, my car is, to me, my sanctuary. This is my go-to. Um, it's my safe haven. I think it's because I have like, it's the one place I know I have control of because it's my own car. Because it's like, you know, I bought it with my own money. It's not my parents' car. It's not like I took a loan or anything. I paid it all off. Sometimes I like to um, park up in my own driveway and sleep in my car or my cousin's driveway. In my car, I'm just like, I get to go around and move everywhere, but I'm also like hidden and away from everybody, so it's just like no one can find me because I will choose to drive to Hamilton for ice cream. <laughs>